The Scandalous and Weird Life of J.P. Morgan, 13 Mind-Blowing Facts John Pierpont Morgan, born in 1837, was an American financier and banker who dominated corporate finance on Wall Street throughout the late 19th and early 20th centuries. While Morgan's financial prowess was unquestionable, his life was also riddled with controversies and shocking facts. Let's dive into 13 of the most shocking and scandalous facts about J.P. Morgan. Fact number one. The monumental birth of U.S. Steel. In 1901, J.P. Morgan facilitated one of the most significant mergers in U.S. business history by creating the United States Steel Corporation. The enormity of this business move was beyond comprehension at the time, involving a staggering $492 million in bonds and equities, an astronomical sum for the era. This colossal deal was the birth of America's first billion-dollar corporation. The newly formed company not only dominated the steel industry but virtually monopolized it, triggering a strong antitrust sentiment among both the general populace and the political class. Morgan's influence in creating U.S. Steel laid the groundwork for the modern American industrial complex but also ignited heated debates about corporate monopolies. Number 2. A life marked by rhinophema. One of the most distinctive features of J.P. Morgan was his nose, affected by a disfiguring skin condition called rhinophema. This condition led to the bulbous, red, and bumpy appearance of his nose, which photographers of the time would often retouch or edit to create a more socially acceptable image. This only further enhanced Morgan's already enigmatic public persona, as the mystery behind his altered photographs led to a myriad of speculations and interpretations. Number 3. The Man Who Hated Income Tax J.P. Morgan had an outspoken contempt for the concept of income taxation, which he viewed as a severe invasion of privacy and an affront to individual liberty. His disdain for income tax was so deeply rooted that he became one of its most high-profile opponents. Ironically, the 16th Amendment, which legally established the federal income tax system in the United States, was ratified in 1913, a year after Morgan's death. The law solidified a policy that Morgan had spent much of his life opposing. Number 4. The Savior of the 1907 Financial Crisis The U.S. financial system teetered on the brink of collapse during the 1907 financial panic. It was J.P. Morgan who took decisive action by gathering financial leaders and literally locking them in his library until a bailout plan was agreed upon. He threw in over $60 million of his own wealth to keep afloat the sinking banking system. His intervention stabilized the market and prevented a more extensive economic disaster, ultimately solidifying his role as a de facto central bank before the Federal Reserve's establishment in 1913. Number 5. The Stifling of Tesla's Free Energy Dream One of the most contentious aspects of Morgan's legacy involved his financial backing of Nikola Tesla's ambitious Wardenclyffe Tower project, intended for the wireless transmission of energy. Initially, Morgan was enthusiastic about the technological marvel. However, upon discovering that Tesla's ultimate aim was to provide free electricity to the public, Morgan abruptly withdrew his financial support. The decision not only led to the project's demise but also stifled a potentially transformative technological advancement. Morgan's action was seen as prioritizing profit over societal benefit, adding a darker shade to his already complex legacy. Number 6. The Gold Market Manipulation and Black Friday of 1869 In the late 19th century, J.P. Morgan was implicated in the manipulation of the U.S. gold market. His involvement was inextricably linked to one of the most significant financial disasters of the time, Black Friday, in 1869. On that fateful day, gold prices plummeted drastically, causing stock markets to crash and leading to financial ruin for many. The manipulation had far-reaching social and economic consequences, impacting not only the gold market but also broader financial systems. Morgan's role in the debacle cemented his reputation as a ruthless businessman willing to sway markets for personal gain. Number 7. Anti-Semitic Views Morgan was widely considered to hold anti-Semitic views. During his era, it was common for prestigious clubs and societies to exclude Jews, 
and Morgan was no exception in this cultural prejudice. While he did conduct business with Jews and had Jewish associates, he supported institutions and practices that were discriminatory against them. His views have been seen as a reflection of the prejudices of his time but are nevertheless deeply troubling in retrospect. Number 8. The Opportunistic Hospital Ship Corsair Amidst the backdrop of the Spanish-American War, J.P. Morgan took a somewhat controversial philanthropic step. He lent his luxurious yacht, the Corsair, to the U.S. Navy to be used as a hospital ship. While some saw this as a generous act, others criticized it as a cunning maneuver to gain favor with the American government. Given Morgan's business interests and his knack for leveraging opportunities, the move led to a divisive public opinion, questioning the sincerity behind the gesture. Number 9. The Art Connoisseur with a $50 million Collection J.P. Morgan had an insatiable appetite for art, amassing a collection valued at an estimated $50 million at the time of his death in 1913. His penchant for fine art was considered by many to be extravagant and indulgent. Critics argued that such exorbitant spending on art was not only a display of opulence but also a form of economic irresponsibility, particularly when the majority of Americans lived under far more modest circumstances. Number 10. The Birth of a Transatlantic Shipping Monopoly, International Mercantile Marine Company In 1902, J.P. Morgan made a strategic move to consolidate several large American and British shipping lines into a single entity known as the International Mercantile Marine Company. His objective was to create a monopoly over transatlantic shipping routes. The scale of the consolidation was immense, involving millions of dollars and numerous major players in the shipping industry. While the venture was initially profitable, it drew widespread criticism and exacerbated public and political concerns over antitrust issues. This was another instance of Morgan's propensity to dominate industries, a trait that continued to fan the flames of anti-monopoly sentiments. Number 11. The Electrifying Impact, Creation of General Electric J.P. Morgan had a major hand in the development of modern electricity. He was a significant investor in Thomas Edison and played a crucial role in merging Edison's company with other electrical enterprises to form General Electric in 1892. The impact of General Electric on America's electrification cannot be overstated, it transformed how people lived and worked. Yet, Morgan's investment wasn't purely altruistic. He saw the financial potential in electrification and acted to ensure his interests were at the core of this revolutionary change. Number 12. Nepotism and the Rise of J.P. Morgan Jr. Accusations of nepotism clouded Morgan's reputation when he placed his son, J.P. Morgan Jr., in key positions within his vast financial empire. While his son was indeed educated and trained for business, the move sparked public debate over whether he was truly qualified for the role or if his appointments were the result of familial ties. This led to a wider scrutiny of the ethics and meritocracy in corporate America, particularly in firms controlled by a single family or individual. Number 13. Mysterious Death Amidst Congressional Investigation J.P. Morgan passed away in 1913 while the Pujo Committee was actively investigating the Wall Street Money Trust, a small group of elite financiers believed to control American industry through interlocking directorships. His death amidst such a critical inquiry gave rise to a slew of conspiracy theories. While none have been definitively substantiated, the timing of his death added another layer of enigma to an already complex and sometimes controversial life. <laughs>